Hey guys, it's Chris at Highline Guitars. Welcome back to my guitar building YouTube channel. In a recent video, I had talked about the reasons why I like to use copper foil to shield my control cavities. And in that video, I had mentioned that one of the things you really have to watch out for is the potential for a ground loop because the ground loop could theoretically introduce a lot of noise to your outgoing signal, which you would hear coming out of the speaker of your amplifier. However, several people mentioned that it's not really possible to have a ground loop in a passive electric guitar. And that kind of made me think back to uh, an occasion years ago where a guy had brought to me a guitar. It was a Les Paul that was really noisy and he wanted to, to try to fix that hum and that buzz and then he wanted me to do a few other things to it as well. So when I looked into the control cavity, I noticed a ground loop. He had a ground wire running from the ground lug on the jack to one of the tone pots and then it went around um, via jumper wires to all the other pots as well as uh, out to the uh, three-way switch, the toggle switch. And on the last pot, he had another jumper wire that went back to the first pot. So he was creating, in effect, a ground loop. So I said, well, there's your problem right there. It's a ground loop. So what I did was, in the process of doing some other modifications to this guitar, I rewired it up and I eliminated that ground loop and the noise went away. It was silent, absolutely quiet. So I just assumed, hey, I fixed a ground loop. And that's really my only experience that I've ever had dealing with a ground loop in a guitar. However, after I posted that video on shielding where I mentioned ground loops, uh, several viewers had mentioned that, you know, you can't have a ground loop in a passive electric guitar. So I thought, well, wait a minute, which is it? Can it happen or does it, you know, is it not possible? So I did some research and it was interesting because I found that about half the information I came across says, yes, you can have a ground loop in an electric guitar. And then the other half said, no, it's a myth. It can't happen. It's not possible. So I did, I did a little extra digging and it appeared to me that the people who were saying it's not possible really had a leg to stand on. Uh, it, it made sense to me what they were saying. Well, in the end, really the best way to, to check this out is to actually test to see if it's possible to create a ground loop in a passive electric guitar. And that's what I'm going to do right now. So with this guitar, this is just one of my uh, Bravo designs. And it's got two humbuckers. Then it just has a basic uh, master volume, master tone, and then a three-way toggle switch. The cavity is shielded. I have a ground wire that runs from the ground lug on the jack to the uh, tone pot. Then from the tone pot I have a jumper wire uh, that runs from the back of the tone pot to the ground lug on the three-way toggle switch. And then another jumper wire that runs to the back of the volume pot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this wire here and I'm going to attach one end to the back of the volume pot and then the other end I'm going to attach it to the back of the tone pot. That would create a ground loop as it has been uh, portrayed in a lot of diagrams on guitar related forums where uh, they talk about ground loops and this is uh, these are uh, diagrams that I found when trying to do some research on the whole subject of ground loops. So let's see what happens. I've got the guitar plugged into my amplifier, have the amplifier turned on and turned up. So I'm going to take one end and place it against the back of the volume pot. And then I'm going to touch this end to the back of the tone pot. And as soon as I do that, if there's noise, we know the ground loop is a real thing. So here we go. Whoa. I did not expect that. Let's try it again. What the heck is that? All right, I'll try it a third time. <laughs> okay. 
I think we know what's going on here. Without question, I'm pranking you. <laughs> when I touched the, the back at the end of this wire to the back of the volume pot and then touched this end to the back of the tone pot, it was absolutely dead silent. There was nothing coming out of the amplifier and the speaker. It's totally silent. And I think that that proves what the uh, commenters were saying, that you cannot have a ground loop in a passive electric guitar, at least in this situation. I don't think it's possible, and, and I, ha I will have to agree with it. And, you know, as far as the other videos on YouTube that also mentioned that ground loops are a myth, they're absolutely correct. Um, I'm now convinced it, it, it's, it is a myth. It doesn't actually exist. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into that previous video where I talked about ground loops. And on that section, I'm going to put a card with a link to this video. And that'll act as kind of a disclaimer. And I may uh, put something in the description or maybe I'll pin a comment to the top so that people understand when they get to that part. Uh, that information is not correct. So now it does kind of make me wonder, well, what happened when I allegedly fixed that Les Paul that had buzzing, um, which I thought was caused by a ground loop? Well, in truth, I think what ended up happening is, yeah, I removed, I eliminated the ground loop, but I also resoldered all the electronics. So there's a good chance that I fixed a bad solder joint in the process, which eliminated the noise. So, oh, well, we have to eat crow at some point in our lives, don't we? At any rate, I hope that this video uh, will uh, inspire you to inspect your solder joint connections for your grounds um, and, you know, maybe consider foil shielding and whether or not it's even something you need to do. Uh, at any rate, uh, I hope you'll give this video a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, uh, head over to eGuitar Plans, buy a, a guitar plan, um, or uh, head over to my spring shop and purchase a t-shirt. Uh, any of that uh, will help to support my channel. And in the meantime, as always, take care, stay safe, and I'll see you soon.